Hi, this is Lee, and this is a recording of my previous Twitch live stream. Um, painting uh, this miniature from Descent Legends of Dark. Uh, it wasn't really ideal. The, the live the live stream wasn't really ideal, and uh, the resolution. I was using my phone, and there wasn't really an option to let me adjust the resolution of the live stream. So it just goes to, like this default setting, and it's quite blurry. Uh, so I never really edited it. I did post the process on Bilibili if you use the website, but uh, 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 I never really, you know, edited it properly and then do voiceover and put on YouTube because the resolution of this video is not really worthy of me edit it and then put up as a painting process. But my hard drive is broken, so I kind of lost all, well not all, but most of my previous miniature painting process recordings so I kind of you know I never post this so I thought why not because it's still a painting process it's just quite low rest so apologize if you think this is not you know what you were expecting but uh, like I said uh, it's my hard drive thing so uh, anyway, hope you can still enjoy this video. Uh, this is the uh, miniature from Descent Legends of Dark. Uh, the miniature is made full of hot plastic, so not, you know, regular PVC material miniatures. And I believe it's the same material Warhammer using, but this one is uh, pre-assembled. Um, the sculpture, the quality of the miniature are all great. Uh, for well, the sculpture, some parts of the sculpture feels a little bit cheated, but overall it is pretty good sculpture. And then the material, hot plastic. I don't have to see that, you know, too many times. Uh, considering this is a Fancy Fly Games uh, miniature, and uh, comparing to previous Fancy Fly Games miniature, like ones from Mass of Madness. The sculpture, the material are all absolutely upgraded, like way off compared to you know their previous miniatures. So the, those miniatures are amazing, and scale-wise, they are quite large scale, thirty-five millimeters, maybe even bigger, close to forty millimeters. I don't know. It it is quite big, and the base uh, is properly sculpted. So there is a tree, some grass. You get some, you know, details on the base, not just a flat round. Base. That's pretty cool. And uh, artwork wise, uh, some of my friends saying the artwork is a little bit, you know, flat, but I think this is kind of stylized. Uh, it really just depends on if you like the style or not. Uh, I'm totally fine with it, so I guess works for me. Uh, but if you don't like the artwork, you can always try some different style on the miniature painting. Uh, Anyway, uh, well, hope you can still enjoy this video, even though it's still quite low res. I'll try to record some more in next few weeks, uh, or well, hopefully, uh, if I have time, because it's close to Christmas. I I am going to be quite busy. Uh, my job. So, I... well, uh, it's gonna be another talk at end of this video. So if you won't well, skip the entire process because it's low res. Uh, I'll have the timestamp in the description. Feel free to you know jump right into the end bit.
Right, so uh, starting from this point, this is recorded on my phone, not from Twitch live stream. I record this before I upload this video to YouTube. So this is going to be high risk. Okay, this is going to be very clear and the very detailed showcase of what I end up with of painting this miniature. Um, I'd say it's good enough to be on the table. It's not, you know, professional painted display piece, but uh, I did spend quite some time. Uh, the live stream was about three hours. It was like three times, and then every time was about an hour, I believe. I cannot remember. I'll, I'll link the uh, original uh, link to the live stream, so if you want to check out the you know, original speed, feel free. Uh, but again, it's quite low rest. Anyway, I think I spent half of the live stream, you know, uh, talking to my friend and then painting this. So not really 100% focused on doing this painting job. Uh, but uh, overall, I am satisfied with this result. Uh, so a little bit, you know, non-metallic metal. A little bit, just a little bit. I didn't spend you know, too much time on rendering those metals. Um, oh, oh, uh, I'd like to talk about the sculpture. Yes, so I said the sculpture feels a little bit cheated. So on um, this area here, all right, so this is the left leg armor. All right, so it's the shape is like this. I did not use any green stuff or anything. It's just like this, a whole piece of, uh, I don't know, some kind of patterns on top of the leather armor. If you look at this side, it's different. It's not one piece. It's, it's a small piece plus a flat, another layer of leather. So it's different. And uh, I am pretty sure it's supposed to be symmetrical, right? Because on the other side of the same armor piece, it's still like this S pattern. But the other side, it's not. It's just, it's supposed to be an S pattern. So this area is supposed to be flattened down to match the same level of the leather. Right? Right? So that's, that's, that's. Why is it it's kind of cheated? And this happens uh, not just on this mini. I mean, not not the exact same issue, but uh, I'll actually show you the the final boss I painted. It's kind of still working progress, but uh... so this is the final boss. I'm still working on the wings and then the lava-ish flame lighting effects. So, same here, uh, this area, you see the, 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 this part of the uh, cloak just went right into the legs, and then they are just connected via this chunk of plastic, that's, that's just the, you know, cheated, it, it, it it can be done, you know, properly, like sculpt the, the entire cloak separately and then the leg separately and then the rope separately. But but they choose to, you know, because it's easier to making molds to make the miniatures, they choose to just connect them together. Uh, fortunately, it's not quite a visible part, so you don't really see this area. But it just feels like, you know, they're cheating on doing sculptures. Uh, it's not a big issue, it's just I found this... Uh, somewhere between frustrating and interesting. All right, let's get back to the archer. So, uh, the face, the face sculpture is absolutely great. The uh, structure is very clear, and you can, if you spend more time, you can you can get very good looking, you know, elf archer. The muscle group also very detailed, very detailed. Uh, the armor is a little bit tricky, so don't not well. 
based on my knowledge, normally if it's like medieval armor, uh, like leather armor, those kind of light armors, it would be one layer of leather, another layer of either metal or anything like patterns or frames to cover the entire armor. Uh, but this is like triple layered. Uh, I'm not entirely sure the texture based on the concept art because it was just a, a golden frame plus some gold uh, patterns and then brown color plus dark brown color. So I don't know exact texture is. I'd assume it's a leather and then there's another layer underneath the leather which I don't know what it is. Uh, and then those gold metal parts on the frame and then on the on the top, on the surface, um, so that that's quite interesting. Um, what else? Oh, uh, there are areas like 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 this. Uh, one second, let's get the focus. So there are areas like this you literally cannot reach properly. I would say just leave it black. To be honest. It's not like you can see or anything, and especially uh, it's literally the shadow area and the strong shadow area. So I would say just you know leave it black to be honest, because you can't really see, and why bother, you know, spending time painting that color scheme. I'm basically just following the concept art. Uh, I think so. I'm not. I can't remember the the. What they did on the bow on concept art, but uh, it was just I was cheating this. To be honest, it was just kind of highlighting a little bit on the edge, and then render out a little bit. So I was I was cheating on the bow. To be honest, um, but other than that, I did you know spend quite some time on the face, on the muscles, on some part of the armor. I did spend a lot of time on the tree, on this bit. Uh, well, well, that that's still black, so I was still cheating that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I uh, aged quite a lot on this. Uh, color wise, all colors still using set of space paints. Uh, Morphin brown. Uh, this is not the web. This is not the color I used for this miniature. Uh, what is that green? What was that green color from Citadel Base Paint I used? Uh, there it is. Right. The green color was wow, flesh. Uh, I did add quite a lot. Uh, what's this? Everland Sunset to make it, you know, yellowish green to highlight a little bit. Uh, not not on this area. I can see. You can see it's still quite uh, dark green, like the wow flesh. So uh, it's only the uh, leaves and some textures on the base I used. Uh, added the Everland sunset to it. Uh, one thing to point out, I did highlight the entire. Uh, edge of the base. I feel like it frames the character a little bit. This is something to, at least from my, uh, just my own opinion, I do think frame your character helps the entire level of finish, uh, well, help the entire uh, finishing level of this miniature. But again, it's probably just personal preference. Well, anyway, I think that's enough talk. Uh, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I mean, if you watched till here, you probably did. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll hopefully we'll upload another painting process soon. But this is it for now. Thank you for watching.